Good morning. It's uh, beautiful to morning here at uh, the Kennedy Space Center and uh, the crew is very happy to be here as you can see. We, uh, we had a, a uh, short uh, flyby of the pad and uh, saw the good ship Discovery out there and it looks great and, uh, and we're ready to go. Uh, just a short uh, 96 hours from now uh, we should be launching and uh, we wanted to uh, thank the uh, dedicated team of professionals down here that's been working uh, so hard for the past several weeks to put the final the uh, final touches on the vehicle and uh, get ready to get into the uh, launch countdown early tomorrow morning. The uh, the crew's ready to go, and uh, we're looking forward to our uh, to our mission to the International Space Station. It's a, a complex 13-day uh, mission. Its uh, main mission is resupply. We also have three very challenging EVAs. I've got a dedicated team of professionals here that uh, that's going to go out and uh, do those things, working with the uh, ground back at uh, in Houston. We've got uh, seven racks to deliver to the International Space Station, including uh, four research and science racks, and uh, we're looking forward to getting those on board and uh, getting them ready to go. I'll let the uh, crew come up and say a few words to you about uh, who they are and what they're going to do. And uh, first up will be the uh, pilot, Mr. Jim Dutton. Thanks. Well, it's hard to believe it's been uh, over a year now that we've been preparing for this mission, and uh, it's just great to be here uh, this week, just four days out from launch. Um, we, uh, we really want to thank the group of people back in Houston who have worked so hard to prepare us for this mission. Uh, they've put in a lot of extra hours. They show up before our training events. They stay after we leave, and uh, when we have questions or looking for additional information, they're always there to, to make sure we get what we need. And, and so uh, we're ready, as Dex said, to go fly. Thanks. Hi, Rick Mastracchio, MS-1. Looking forward to a great mission, and especially the EVAs. With the end of the space shuttle program, it will be a rare event to get the opportunity to actually build something in orbit. And it's an incredible experience that I'm looking forward to again. Uh, it takes a, a lot of folks to prepare us. So I'd like to say thanks to all the EVA folks who prepared us, the trainers, the folks at the NBL and all the folks who've prepared the hardware and gotten it ready for us for this mission. It's, uh, we appreciate all their efforts. Thanks. I'm Dottie Metcalf, Lindenberger, and I'm MS2. And I'd like to thank the folks that, uh, the systems that we use every day on the shuttle that sometimes we don't, um, people don't know that we're using them. Uh, for instance, the, the computers that we use on board are just normal laptops, but they get us through rendezvous. They help us to know where we are as we're orbiting the Earth. Um, they let us visit with our families at least once while we're on orbit. And uh, they just make daily life a lot easier. And also, as all of you are using cameras out there, we have a great photography team that lets us capture this amazing experience that we're going to go off and do. So I'd like to thank them. And I'd also like to thank the uh, teaching um, group that's uh, mostly in Houston but also across all of the centers as I know that they've been preparing lessons for teachers to use across this country in robotics. So thanks to all of those folks. Hi, I'm Stephanie Wilson. I'm MS3 and I'm excited to be here for to start the launch process for SCS-131. Uh, for the robotics teams, we'd like to thank both the shuttle and the space station robotics teams uh, for all the preparation that they've given to us, uh, for working with our space walking teams and all the coordination that goes into that, for the uh, instructors, for the mission designers, and also for our uh, flight controllers. They have done a wonderful job preparing us, and we're ready to go execute the mission. Thank you. Hi, uh, Naoko Yamazaki, MS4, and so glad to be here. Uh, as a load master, I'd like to thank a space shuttle transfer team and space station teams, all the payload teams, and uh, the Kennedy Space Center hardware processing teams and Italian uh, space agency who built Leonardo multi-logistics purpose module. We've been working so close together so that we can have a good plan for the transfer. 
and uh, I'd like to uh, deliver each piece of hardware and execute each piece of activities with all the dedicated people in our source. Thank you so much. So, the Japanese people え、このミッションでロードマスターとしてま、6トン以上の物資、日本の実験装置もたくさんあります。運びます。その時にたくさんの人々の努力と思いと一緒に運べたらと思っています。宇宙で頑張ってきたいと思います。今まで一杯支援